I ran in Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and I stocked up on some stuff. Just got back from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. And also I got some Amazon stuff over the weekend, so I'm gonna show you that. From Amazon, I got some stuff to make a pre-workout. I don't know how to pronounce these. Citrulline, DL malate, theanine, cordyceps extract, beta alanine, and magnesium. This morning I mixed that in some coffee to get some caffeine and I put some salt in it also and it did work for me. And I got this from Thomas DeLauer. I'll link his YouTube video below. And these are all good to take when you're fasting according to Thomas DeLauer. I got some Myers candles. I got four of them. The lavender scent. I also got some of this Simple Mills almond flour bacon mix. This is not keto. I got this for carb day. I'm gonna make a blueberry cobbler. The ingredients are good. My mom made this blueberry cobbler for my birthday last weekend. I ate it on my carb day and it was really good. I had to go back and look at all the ingredients in the recipe, but I believe it's whole food plant-based if I remember right, which is vegan, but no oils or preservatives. And that's how me and my husband ate for like a year and a half. We were whole food plant-based and then we were vegan for like another year and a half. He was longer than me actually. I got some more of these amazing low carb noodles from Amazon. 25 calories, zero gram of protein, zero carbs, and 25 calories in one container. And if you are not sure what macros are or keto or intermittent fasting, check out my video here. I did a video on it and I'll link it below in the description also. From Trader Joe's, I got some grass-fed Angus beef burgers, which is nice because my kids don't eat here all the time. My man and my husband isn't eating meat. And if I want a burger, I can just put one in. There are zero carbs, 19 grams of protein, 23 grams of fat, 290 calories, and one patty. And it's just ground grass-fed Angus beef. I got some, oh, it's melting. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the freezer. So I got some spicy Mexican-style riced cauliflower. I actually seen Nicole Burgess get this when I was watching one of her YouTube videos and I've been wanting to get it. The ingredients look pretty good from what I see. There are four net carbs, two and a half grams of fat, two grams of protein, and 50 calories in one cup frozen. And there's four servings per container. I mean, I'd probably just eat one serving so I can eat that on a keto day. And then also, I believe she got some of this ginger. She did and she got something similar and I seen it and thought it would be good to have. It's um, one cube is one teaspoon of crushed ginger. Ingredients are just ginger, water, citrus fibers, lemon concentrate. I figured that'd be good than having to buy the ginger root and you know peel it and shred it and dice it myself. I got some organic free range chicken from Trader Joe's. This is the boneless skinless thighs. And there are three grams of fat, zero carbs, 24 grams of protein, and 130 calories in four ounces. I got some organic free range chicken breast tenders. There are 24 grams of protein, zero carbs, three grams of fat, and 130 calories in four ounces. I got some organic chicken wing sections, and these are no antibiotics ever. And there are 20 grams of protein, zero carbs, 14 grams of fat, 210 calories, and four ounces. So this is what I was wanting to get from Publix, and they didn't have them, but they had some at Trader Joe's, and Publix is the only place close to me that has these, so I stocked up and got four of these from Trader Joe's. Macros on it are 13 grams of fat, 13 grams of protein, one net carb, and 180 calories in one cheese wrap. I got some more zucchini. I kind of made my res a recipe where I use zucchini and made like zucchini hash browns. I got some grass-fed Angus beef, and there are 13 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, it's gonna be less than one net carb, and 190 calories in four ounces. I got, they had one of these left, so I got it. It's grass-fed organic ribeye beef steak. No antibiotics ever, no added hormones, all vegetarian fed. 23 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, 180 calories, and less than one net carb. My son, one of the twins, Andrew, he likes loaded baked potatoes and he puts chives in it, so I got a thing of chives. 
They actually don't have packs like this at the stores around where I live. They're really small packs. So I decided to try the Trader Joe's seltzer water, the blood orange and orange juice. Not sure if I'm gonna like it, but it was like 84 or 88 cents. And ingredients are just carbonated water, organic blood orange juice, organic orange juice, three carbs, no added sugars, 15 calories, zero gram of protein in one can. I didn't like the one brand that didn't have the natural flavors in it, but I figured I'll try the Trader Joe's brand and see what I think. And I got some matcha green tea powder. And that's supposed to be good for you, and I can't remember why, but I remember hearing something about it, so I wanted to get it and try it. There is less than one net carb, zero grams of protein, zero fat, five calories in one packet, and there's seven packets in here. From Whole Foods, I found some keto bread that has one net carb and one slice, and it's gluten-free. And I have, well, I've been told I have a gluten allergy. I think it's a gluten sensitivity, but I stay away from gluten either way. One slice of bread has zero grams of protein, one net carb, two and a half grams of fat, and 40 calories. And ingredients look pretty good in my opinion. I mean, everything I believe is good. It does have natural flavors, but like I said in a previous video, almost everything has natural flavors in it, I'm finding. So I'm just starting to not care about that. And there is xanthan gum, which I don't care about that. So I'm anxious to try that. I got some of these cauliflower sandwich thins. And I like, I've gotten these before. I actually think I got them from Trader Joe's, but I didn't see them there today. And Whole Foods had them. But I like these for hamburger buns. They're like the perfect size and shape. And there are two net carbs and two slices. So if you have one burger, you're just having two net carbs for the bun. There are nine grams of protein, the two net carbs, five grams of fat, and 100 calories in two of these. I got my husband some buffalo cauliflower wings. He loves these, and when I make them for him, they're pretty time consuming for the recipe I use. And the ingredients looked pretty good, and I just thought he'd like that. And when I make the hot wings, I may make these for him. I got some Lakanto maple flavored syrup. Ingredients, I mean, are pretty good. They have natural flavors. It's 20 calories, zero grams of protein, one net carb, zero grams of fat, and two tablespoons. I got some Everyone Soap, and usually I order these off of Amazon, but last time I looked, you could only get like two of the like same one, like you can only get two of the coconut lemon or two of the lavender, and I was really wanting one of each, and they had these sold singly at Whole Foods for, I believe, around the same price. So I went and picked up one of each. And I've used this one before, the coconut lemon, and I like it. But I have not tried the lavender aloe. And this is good for a body wash, bubble bath, and shampoo. I found some keto cereal, hopefully I will like from Whole Foods. And it's something new. Ingredients look really good, in my opinion. In one cup, there is four net carbs. The other one, I believe, is three quarter cups, has four net carbs. There is seven grams of protein, 2.5 grams of fat, and 110 calories. So I picked up two of them, and I'm hoping I like those. They have a chocolate flavor also. This one's the cinnamon toast, and I'm not much for chocolate cereal. I'm more of a cinnamon or coconut or banana flavored cereal or honey, you know, stuff like that. So I figured I'd like this better. I got some more organic stevia and some more powdered almond butter. This was on sale $2 off, so this whole thing was $6.99, I believe. And I'm putting this in my shake, so I'm using this a lot now. Um, in two tablespoons, there are 45 calories, two net carbs, one gram of fat, and six grams of protein. So I got some Italian dressing, which I kind of thought I'd make like a, my keto version of a Subway Italian BMT. If you saw my last grocery haul, I got some like pepperoni and salami and bacon and provolone cheese. And I wanted to put some Italian dressing on it. I was using the Greek dressing from Primal Kitchen over the weekend and thought this would be good. And I haven't had protein bars in forever, and I was actually looking for Built Bars because it's like everybody's channel. They're using Built Bars. But on Amazon, the only thing I've seen is you have to buy a box, and I didn't want to buy a box unless I really liked it. They didn't have Built Bars at Trader Joe's or at Whole Foods at the ones I went to. So I found these. They're called No Cow. 
It has 22 grams of protein in it. And it doesn't say keto on here. It says dairy-free, gluten-free, high protein, low sugar, non-GMO, soy-free, vegan, and no bowl. But I did eat this one because I was hungry. All I have is my breakfast meal. And when I got done shopping, I was like really hungry. So I opened this and ate it. It's really pretty good. But I hadn't had protein bars in so long. I don't know what to compare it to. But for what I'm seeing, there's four net carbs, four grams of fat, 22 grams of protein, and 190 calories in one bar. And I got the birth cake flavor, which I believe is the same on the macros. If not, it's close. There's four net carbs, 21 grams of protein, four and a half grams of fat, 190 calories in one bar. So that's it from Amazon, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If there's any other video ideas or another grocery store you would like me to go to, put them in the comments below. I hope you have a great day and a great week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.